Good morning there friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to do a little bit of a electrical repair. Um, actually what we're going to do, we're going to go from this outlet right here. <clears throat> we're going to come up the wall. We're going to uh, install a, another box and run a wire from the uh, outlet to the box. And we'll install a switch there. And we're going to go ahead and run a wire all the way up our wall into our ceiling. Now this wire will be later used for some lighting, okay? But I'm going to show you how we get this done. Basically what we're going to do is what we've done right over here. We've done the same thing about a year ago. We uh, ran a wire up to a box and then we ran it on up uh, through the ceiling through the top plate and it operates a couple lights that we have here. So folks stay tuned and we'll show you how we get this done. Friends, the first thing we're going to do today, we've got our drill here with a very large uh, drill bit on it, about a foot long or so, and, it's, and it drills about a one inch diameter hole. We're going to come right up here above the box where this brace is, and somewhere in the center of this brace, we're going to drill a hole there, and we're going to go up here to the top, and through the double top plate, we're going to drill a hole there close to the center of the uh, tube of force. So we'll show you how we get that done. Okay, let's drill through this first brace here. We're going to try to keep, stay as close to the stud as we can, but stay in the center of this brace. So we're going to go about right here. Let's see here. Now for the top plate, let's go ahead and get our bit here. I see a couple nails that were driven down. We're going to try to stay away from them. There we go. Our bit's a little bit dull. That should have cut through there a little better, but now we've got our hole here through our brace and through our top plate. So we'll get on to the next step. Okay, friends, before we start doing any wiring here, we want to make sure we got our power off. And I want to show you this little tool I have right here. These are neat. You can pick these up at any home improvement store. And what it is, you plug it into an outlet, and it's got three different lights on it. And what's supposed to happen is these um, yellow lights are supposed to be on. It tells you right here if the circuit's wired correctly, the two yellow lights are on. If you got a red light on and this yellow light, you have a hot neutral reverse and it goes on down the chart and it tells you what the problem is if you have anything other than the two yellow lights on. So let's plug it in and we can see that both our yellow lights are on red lights off so this thing's wired correctly now we're going to go on over here to the breaker box and we're going to flip the breaker and i already know which one it is and when i come back i'll know that there's no power on this circuit before i start messing with it so just always remember safety first and this here's a no-brainer i mean you got it plugged in there the light goes off you know there's no power now friends what we've done we went ahead and took a measurement uh, earlier and made us a mark here at 38 inches from the top of our shoe plate because that was about the uh, same distance that it was on the rest of the light switches and we just kind of want them all to look uniform. So we've got a new box here, okay? Now we're going to nail it onto the wall this way and we've got to run a wire up through the bottom and we've got to run a wire out through the top. So I'm going to go ahead and break out. I'm going to take this, this little body hammer I have here. And these little fiberglass ones, they just break out real easy. Just go ahead and knock a hole right there in the box for the wire to come, come in and out of there, okay? And do the same thing on the bottom side. So we're going one in, one out. It actually gives you a place to do two, two wires in and out if you wanted to. But we're just going one in, one out, so that's all we're going to worry about. Now let's go ahead and hammer it on. Now if you'll notice, that these boxes have a little lip that sticks out here. And that lip is approximately a half inch. And what that allows you to do is to have your box sticking out at least a half inch 
uh, to make up for your sheetrock or your plywood or whatever you're going to put down. So we're going to stick it up against the stud, bottom of it. That's where I made my mark. That was at the bottom of the box. And we'll go ahead and just uh, nail, it in, nail it in place. We'll get it started. Both of them started. Okay. Okay, friends, we're ready for the next step. Now we'll go ahead and start taking our uh, outlet out here. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and pull our cover off. And we'll lay that aside. And it looks like it's going to be a straight blade. So let's go ahead and pull our, our outlet out of the box. Let's do that right quick. I'll save you the time. I'll just go ahead and pull it out and then we'll talk about it when I get it out. Okay friends, we got the uh, outlet pulled out of here, okay? Uh, this is all run in, uh, looks like number 12 wire. Um, and what they did here, they went ahead, I'm gonna leave this in place because they've skint the wires back and pushed them into the little push-in part to make a connection. I'll show you here in just a minute what I'm talking about. Because on an outlet, uh, you have, here's an outlet right here. And you see the screws on the side? You can either make your attachments, you know, you can skin your wire back and wrap them around to make your connection, or you can simply skin them back and push them in. It's like a little uh, quick connect. I mean, it goes in, but it won't come out. And that's the way this one's done. So I'm gonna leave it in place like that, and I'll make my connection from a new wire on these screws on the side. Now let's talk about that a minute. If you look at an outlet, okay, and let's see. See if you can see what I'm doing here, okay? If you look at the outlet in your house or whatever, you'll, you'll always notice that one side's a little bit bigger. It's longer, okay? Now that is the neutral wire. That is the white wire. The, the side that is a little bit shorter, that's your hot wire, okay? And that's the black wire. And of course, the round looking one below it, that's your ground wire. And it's usually a naked copper wire, okay? So let's go over here to the uh, outlet and we can see that our black wire is hooked up to the side that has the little shorter um, slot and our white wire is hooked up to the side with the longer one and then the ground wire grounds to the switch here on the bottom. I'll show you on this one. Uh, right here where the green screw is, that's where the ground wire hooks up, okay? Now what we're going to do, since they've already used the push-ins, we're going to hook our wire up to the screw heads. So we, we will, if we're looking at this, we've got our longer slot here, we can hook our white wire up to either one of these posts will work, either one of them. And over here, we'll hook our black wire up to either one of these posts here. And then we can make a connection to the ground wire, or we can um, back this one off and tie them together. Uh, I'll show you that when we actually get to that point. But that's the way that we'll hook our wires up and we'll run them up here to our box. So let's go ahead. I've got some number 12 wire here, a whole roll of it, a 50 foot roll. And we'll just kind of hold up. I'm gonna cut off a little, a little bit more than I think we're gonna use. So we'll make sure we have enough here. And we're just gonna use our electrical pliers here and we'll just cut off a piece. And let's grab that, and we'll go ahead and run it. I've already punched out a spot on the back of this box here, so we'll go ahead and run it into here. And then we'll, we got our other box up here, and we'll go ahead and run our, let's see if we can move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put a little curve in it. And we'll run our wire through here. Okay, so we've got our wire run from our old box up to our light switch box okay now we'll uh, use a staple and we'll actually make it uh, we'll actually staple this to the uh to the wire i'll show you that a little bit i've actually got to run up to the uh, hardware store and pick up some because i don't know exactly where mine are right now so we'll do that and then we'll run our other wire and we'll get all this pre-wired and we'll start hooking everything up 
Okay, friends, we went ahead and ran our uh, wire <clears throat> that goes up through the top plate. What we did, we went ahead and ran it up. We've got it stretched across here, um, and we nailed a box uh, right up there to where I can either get to it through the ceiling here, or if I eventually uh, <coughs> cover the ceiling with OSB, I can get, through it, get to it from the attic to make a connection for my wiring, uh, for my lights, or if I need to work on something. So we got a junction box up there that we can easily get to from the attic or from down here until we get to that point. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna run up to the hardware store, get some of the little U-shaped nails to uh, attach all our wire down nice and snug, and then we'll cut off any excess up there. We'll roll it up, tuck it into the uh, junction box, and then we'll come down here and start making our connections. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Okay friends, hey, we're back here now and we've got these little clips here that we're going to use to um, <clears throat> secure the wire to the stud. And all you do is stick it around the wire and uh, drive in the little nails. Now we want to position the wire somewhere like in the center of the stud. And uh, we want to go all the way around and secure the wire. So we'll just start right here uh, in between these two boxes and we'll go ahead and tap this down and you just want to drive these little nails in try not to hit the wire and smash the wire just try to hit just the nails and we're good to go right there and that holds the wire secure now what we're going to do is go ahead and work all the way around and we'll get all these secured down and then we'll move on to uh, the next step where we start hooking everything up in the boxes Okay friends, we've got our wire secured to our stud all the way around. It's looking pretty good. Um, we're back here at the box now. So we want to go ahead and start uh, making these connections. I'm going to take this razor blade knife here and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go about to the about where my thumb is. I'm going to leave like a few inches of the full insulation uh, inside the box. I don't want it to pull out. I don't want to cut it too far back. But we want to go ahead and just, trick, just cut your slit just through the outside part of it and then you can pull that back and trim that off and what that does that exposes all three of your wires and you got a little piece of cardboard here you can like the paper you can cut that back so you got a white wire uh, your black wire and your <coughs> um, copper wire that has no insulation on it just go and pull that up out of the way do the same thing with the other one go ahead and just cut a slit down it and then you can pull back as far as you can still leaving some of the insulation inside the box don't want to pull out of the box so now we've got <clears throat> those wires exposed and we'll trim off our piece of paper and let's see let's go down here on the bottom and we'll go ahead and do this one too on this side we'll pull it we're going to cut a slit in it, pull back our insulation, and trim it off. <clears throat> Get our paper out of the way, and we're ready for the next step. Okay friends, let's start with making our connection down here at the box. Let's take our wire. We don't need this much wire sticking out. But we don't want to leave too little. We want to have plenty to work with. But I'm, I'm going to go about, I'm leaving about two inches or so sticking out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and cut the black wire. I'm going to cut the white wire, okay? And then we'll, uh, we'll take our wire strippers here and we'll skin back about an inch on there, okay? An inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch. And we'll go ahead and Get that off of there <clears throat> on both of these wires. All right, we got that skimp back. Now on the copper wire, we're gonna leave it a little long here for a minute because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this ground wire here at the bottom on this outlet here. And it looks like I have the wrong screwdriver. Hang on just a minute. Okay, now I got the right screwdriver. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. And just back it out a little bit. Pull the wire off of here. If we can, we might need our 
pair of uh, needle nose pliers to do so. Go ahead and pull this wire out, out of here. Some tough old wire. It's 12 gauge. Now let's cut this off. Um, we're going to cut this off clean. Since it's got a little crook on the end of it, we'll go ahead and just cut it off. Alright, now we've got to tie these two wires together and make our connection back here. So let me show you what we're going to do for that. We're going to take our big pliers here. <clears throat> we'll push our wire in there a little bit and we're going to uh, grab these, grab both wires if we can and just start twisting. We're going to twist clockwise. Well hang on, I guess we've got a little bit different diameter wire. That might be number 10 wire this thing is wired with. But anyway, let's just start back here. We're just going to twist these two wires together. Let's get started. And then we'll take our pliers. We'll grab a hold to the end here. <clears throat> and let's just go ahead and twist it. Don't twist too much to where you actually break the wire. Remember this is copper wire. It's not, um, it will break if you twist it too much. We'll go ahead and get that uh, twisted together where it makes good connection. And then we've got these little copper pieces here okay these little pieces right here it's just like a little piece of copper and it's got a hole a large hole in the middle of it and let's slide these on here and we'll slide maybe two on there if we can and then we've got those slid over top of that and we'll take our pliers and we'll actually crimp crimp these pieces and that helps to ensure that we have a good <clears throat> connection there between these two wires okay and I also have a little clipping tool here that you can go back and see <clears throat> how the ends are made this is actually for automotive use but it works pretty good for this too and you can add just a little extra right there on those things and that helps to uh, crimp those wires together so we got a good connection there and now we can go ahead and wrap this back around our um, screw down here at the bottom for our ground okay I think we can go ahead and just wrap it and then we'll snip it off all right so let's go we've got it wrapped on there <clears throat> let's pull it a little tight here with the with the needle nose. Let's see if we can crimp it down a little bit. It looks like we got it around there pretty good. Okay, now let's tighten it down and we'll snip it up. Okay, so we got a good ground nice and tight both the wires are crimped together and we'll cut off our excess here we don't need that and we'll move on to hooking up the uh, black and white wire <clears throat> okay friends now we're getting ready to hook up the white wire remember the white wire hooks to the side to, to where the slot is the larger one take you a pair of needle nose pliers and just go ahead and uh, grab it at the very end and kind of shape it into a J shape, okay? And hook it around your uh, screw here that we've already backed out. We've already backed this screw out. Let's go ahead and just grab it and hook it around there if we can. Okay, now if you need to crimp it anymore, grab your needle nose pliers, pull it around there, around that screw head as tight as you can. And then we can go ahead and tighten up the white wire okay and remember you're tightening it down in a clockwise position so wrap the wire around there in a clockwise position to where it's always pulling it in there it's not trying to spit it out so we've got that nice and tight let's flip it around this way and uh, 
We're going to take our needle nose on this side and do the same thing. We'll grab it right at the tip. And we'll spin her around like so. And hook up the black wire. Remember, the black wire is the hot wire. And we'll see if we can do this. You know, sometimes doing stuff where you're trying to make a video makes things just a little bit more difficult. Okay, we got a crimp around there. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, that makes our connection, folks. Now remember, <clears throat> our old wire that come down through here, it was uh, pushed in, you know, to the back of the outlet. And what we done, we made the connection to our new wire. We tied our, tied our ground wire together, and we hooked our black wire on the positive side, and our neutral wire on the other side. So now we're ready to shove all this back into the box, if we can. And sometimes with this number 12 wire, it's kind of hard to work with. But you just keep working with it and folding it, and you'll get it pushed back in there to where you can get your screws back in place. Okay, friends, we'll, we've got it back in there. We're going to screw it down, and we'll move on to the light switch. Okay, friends, we have our new switch here. Now, on a the, on the switch, all you have, you got two posts here on the side, okay? And what you do is you run, all you're doing is breaking the circuit. So from our outlet up here, we will hook the black wire to uh, this post right here. And then uh, on the other wire that runs up through our top plate on the black wire, we'll make the connection here. And on the uh, white wire, we'll simply skin those back and twist them together and put a wire nut on them. And on the ground wire, We'll twist them two together also, leaving one side longer than the other, and we will actually wrap it around the green screw here to make sure the switch is grounded too. So let's get started with that. Okay, we'll start with the ground wire. We got both our ground wires here. We've kind of worked them to the top of the box. One's cut about an inch and a half shorter. So let's go ahead and start uh, twisting these together. And we'll start by hand. And then we'll grab our big pliers again. And we'll grab these and we'll just twist until we get them twisted a little bit. Remember, don't twist too much or you will break the wire. We just need to make a good connection there. Straighten up our end here a little bit. And then we'll slide these little, little uh, copper pieces on again and crimp them down, and that will ensure that we have a good ground connection. And uh, we'll just go ahead and use our crimping tool here. So we'll go ahead and crimp one real good right there, and crimp one good right here. And there's our ground wire. Now, while we're here, we'll go ahead and uh, take our um, needle nose and we'll go ahead and put a little J on the end of it to where we can be ready to hook that up when we get ready to. And let's go ahead skin back our white wires and our black wires. On the white wires we're going to skin back probably like an inch or so, okay? At least an inch. And And we're going to twist these two together, okay? But we'll do that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and skin our black wires back. We'll go about, we'll go about three quarters of an inch because we're going to make a connection with these. So we'll go about three quarters of an inch back. Okay. Now, so here we go with our white wires <clears throat> right here. Just go ahead and grab them, line them up together. Grab them out near the end. Go ahead and twist them clockwise. And 
just kind of twist those together. And actually if the whole wire, even with the insulation, starts twisting, that's okay. But we just want to get a good twist on it without overstressing the wire and causing it to break. Now at that point, go ahead and take yourself a uh, wire nut here, okay? And we'll trim off just a little bit. I want to leave about, I don't know, half inch or so sticking out of here. And then uh, go ahead and take, because I want the wire nut to cover all that when it tightens down. So let's go ahead and take the wire nut and just force it on there. And the reason that I had you twist it in a clockwise motion is because that's the way this nut's going to go on here. And actually, hold on, I'm going to bite this off a little bit. Let's get another nut. It's not quite covered. I'm going to trim just a little bit more off of here. So we trimmed about another eighth of an inch off. We've got a new nut here. Let's tr screw that on there. And now that's a good connection. And for that point, you can take this and you can tuck it back into the box. You can tuck that back as far as you want to, just to get it out of your way. And I'll leave your ground wire out here right now, because we've got to make a connection. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll probably go ahead and make that connection. And then we'll put some J's on here and we'll hook, a, hook the switch up. Let me just go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Remember the switch? Uh, hang on. Here it is right here. It's in this position where you can read off. And when it's flipped up, you read on. Okay. So that position right there, we're going to go ahead with the black wire. We're going to put our little J on the end of it. We're going to go ahead and make this connection here. Okay. And then with the upper wire that's going on up to our where our light's going to be one day we'll put a j on there we're going to make that connection okay then we're going to make our ground wire right over here on the side okay so we're going to go ahead and do that and get ready to tuck it into the box okay friends all the connections are made here's our ground wire here and if i turn this around you can see that where we've uh, hooked up the uh, black wire on each side to interrupt that circuit. And uh, so now it's time just to uh, tuck everything back down inside the inside the box here. And like I said, this number 12 wire is a little stiff. So I'm just gonna get all this tucked in here. And that looks pretty good there. We got a screw started there and one started there. So we'll go ahead and tighten down the switch. Friends, that's about all there is to it. Um, just remember, black wire is your hot wire. And it goes to the slotted side of the receptacle that's the smallest. The larger side, but the larger slot, is your neutral wire. And, uh, and remember, a switch is real simple. All you're doing is interrupting the uh, the black wire, the hot wire, but you do need to ground your switch. You want all your switches every every time you go into a box, whether it be hooking up a ceiling fan or something. There's going to be a place to run that ground wire, and you need to do that just for safety purposes. I hope that this video was helpful, and uh, just remember, always practice good safety when messing around with electrical. And if you don't feel comfortable with it, just call a licensed electrician and let them uh, hook you up. And uh, friends, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And we will see you next time. Take care. One more thing, folks, before I let you go today. I went and flipped the power back on. Let's make sure that everything is working correctly. And as you see, these two lights here lit up and that's the what's supposed to happen go ahead and check both of your both of your outlets and as far as uh, going up here to the switch we will know remember we went up here and we went along that joist on the other side and if you'll see that box up there we ran that wire into the box and we got it rolled up and just tucked in there right now and we'll uh, actually when we get ready to uh, hook up our 
light will make the connection there so uh folks just wanted to uh let you know about that just make sure you're uh, everything's good to go when you're done doing your doing your work there these little checkers here you can pick them up at uh, any home improvement store and they're a handy thing to have once again friends have a great day and we'll see you next time